Hello viewers, welcome to Minecows. Julian here, and today I am bringing you a brand new Let's Play of Portal 2. Now this is actually going to be replacing my Half-Life 2 Let's Play because I figured that there's no way I'm going to finish that game before the end of the summer. And also, um, Vegas was derping out a lot with the files, and I had a lot recorded, it's a bit sad. But I'm going to see what happens with this Let's Play, so hopefully it goes well. Hopefully Vegas runs well and doesn't make everything all poopy, but, um, so yeah, let's, uh, start this, and I figure because this game's actually pretty short, like, uh, seven hours, I think, I'm gonna see if I can try and finish this relatively quickly by, uh, bringing you a chapter a video, although I, uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna work out well. Each chapter is probably about an hour long, so... I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna try and finish this sort of quickly, because I want to finish this before the end of the summer. So, let's get started. With a brand new game. Chapter 1. Oh, right. The loading screens are a bit frequent. Um, yeah, they don't take too long, but it's kind of distracting. But I'm not here to review this. I'm here to play it. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. All right, turned on subtitles. You will hear a buzzer. In case you have when trouble. You hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. All right, first puzzle of the game. Very nervous. Good. I did you it. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Look down at the floor. All right, Good. getting the hang of this. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Yeah. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I like how it's just like a typical hotel room. It's not a place where you think a portal game would start. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. All right. I can feel myself getting smarter already. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Oh, come on. Good. Now please return to your bed. Yeah, that was... That was pretty tiring. I'm gonna try not to talk too much during the dialogue. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 Answer that. I'm Did not you, like sure bang his head on There's the door or something? To recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Okay. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Uh, Word what? of advice. Up to you. What? Uh-oh. Ah! Earthquake! No! Oh. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Hello? going on most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive oh. deterioration after a few months in suspension now you've been under for quite a lot longer and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage but yeah. don't be alarmed all right uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Yeah. Just tell me. Just say yes. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. What you're doing there is oh. jumping. Uh, <laughs> you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. <laughs> okay. You know what? I love the comedy enough. in just this game. Tight. It's awesome. Okay. So all this is. Core uh -oh. are now That's not good. So this Please is gonna be sort of a walkthrough because I have actually played this game before. I will know what hey, I'm look, doing. I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. For the most part. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? 
the reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. It's okay. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Because you're why scared. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. People don't normally right, talk to Spears. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. Uh, oh. just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Yours? Right, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Pretty much. All right, not yeah. dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh. You can do it, Wheatley. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not <laughs> bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. All right. We made it. Congratulations, you just drove a room there we go. into a wall. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. Yeah. So, you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Alright. Now, what I was trying to say is, this will sort of be a walkthrough, like a right. let's play slash walkthrough, go. because, um, I have played this game before, so it won't be a blind let's play. Go on, just... March on through that hole. Okay. No, no, not yet. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's alright. Go ahead. I won't exactly be, like, guiding you guys how to do this. I know, uh, I know. I have painted quite a grim shush. picture of your chances. Yeah. But if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. <laughs> anyway, I have completed this game before. So, once shush. again, just move along. Shush. One small step and everything. Don't expect a very informative walkthrough, because I won't know exactly what I'm no. doing, but I've got the hang of it, so you won't be waiting forever Hello. for me to complete and something. Again, welcome figure to something the Aperture out. Science Enrichment Center. Oh, we this are looks currently familiar. experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded the messages mug? will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Ah, uh, now this in Portal 1 was a genius way of making you understand the concept of portals. This room. I don't know, I thought it was pretty clever, seeing yourself. I am just gonna take this radio with- oh wait. Do you get an achievement for that? No, there was something like that in Portal 1 where you bring a radio with you to certain places and... Cube and button-based testing think. remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Well, how would that happen? Like, there's just a button that says apocalypse? And, like, you put a cube on it and suddenly the apocalypse starts? Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Yeah, having a bit of deja vu here. You know, this may surprise some people, but Portal 2 is actually um, my favorite Valve game, which is saying a lot since they've never really made a bad game. But, um,. I just think it's probably the most if clever of all their games. Neck, oh. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. What? You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Well, that doesn't sound good. Um, 
Anyway, I think it's one of the most clever Valve games that they have made because just the concept of portals was a really, really great, really great thing in uh, the original game. And then they've just done so well with it in this game. You know, I think the difficulty was actually a bit easier in this game than it was in the first one, except for the co-op. Um, but still, I think they did a really good job, especially the, the humor and the story in this. It's just like some of the best writing I've ever seen in a video game. I'm sorry, I'm not good at multitasking. Alright, so this first test, you take this cube, it's very complicated. You have to take this cube, and then you press this button, you bring the cube inside the orange portal, and you exit out of the blue portal, don't forget that part. And you put it on the red button, and then the door will open. But, okay, this part's tricky. You've got to, um, press this here, and it opens a portal for you to go into that door. That part took me a while to figure out, but... Good. Because yeah. of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Alright, that's good. That's good. What, is he gonna then, like, just put me back to death afterwards? That's a bit... God, that would suck. Dying and then just temporarily being the survival. governed by a manner of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to his. Okay. Ooh. Another thing I like about this is that you do get to see some of the previous maps from the original portal, but they're all dilapidated. Hey, hey, and. You made it. Yeah, shut up. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. It's covered in salad I everywhere. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Okay. Oh. Whoa, God. Didn't expect that to happen. Hello? I did. What? Can you see the portal gun? Um. Also, are you yes. alive? Yes. That's important. Should have I'm that alive. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm still I'm alive. I'm assuming that you're still alive. <laughs> and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Oh. Alright, brilliant. Go team! Yeah! See team Avatar, now, let's go. If you're not dead. Yeah. Alright, here we go. The portal gun. Probably the best weapon in gaming history. That's right, even better than the gravity gun. Let's go. In my opinion. Oh. Uh, Wow, who did all this? Oh right, it was the, uh, um, what's his name? Ah, uh, the, the Ratman? Uh, what, I forget his name, I forget his first name, whatever, his name, his last name's Ratman, I think, and he was in the Portal comic Labyrinth, you should read that if you ever get the chance, it's really good. It kind of teaches you some of the, uh, a bit of the backstory, stuff that was going on, uh, before the, yeah. Before everything went to heck because of GLaDOS or is it Gladys or GLaDOS I don't care it's GLaDOS I say GLaDOS some emergency testing may require I prolonged interaction else. with lethal military androids rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws, laws of, of robotics, robotics to share oh okay the three laws of robotics that was a good book should be good if you feel that a lethal military military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate Whoa. will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. The fact that there are lethal military android kind of, uh, that already kind of breaks the first law of a, of a robot may not harm a human being. I mean, I don't know, just saying. Aperture Laboratories. We do what we must because we can. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, two one. one. Yes. Wait. Wait, how is this even dangerous? 
Oh no, this this cube is gonna fall on my head. Wait. Oh, it's already there. How is there any danger at all in this test? Whatever. Oh god, I think that that tree poked me. A tree? That's not a tree. Whatever, it poked me. And now I'm bleeding or something. Alright, yeah, a lot of um a lot of the same from Portal 1 here. Just to get you familiar with it. Or Yeah, to get you get new people familiar with it and old people to have all that nostalgia. Yeah! Oh wait, no, I can't do that yet. Alright. Where's the other cube? My god, am I seriously messing up? Oh, oh my god. No, I can't. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, GLaDOS. GLaDOS have failed you. Because this or message is pre-recorded. Whatever your name any is. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Whoa. All right. Now there's a bit of a secret up here. See, I'm showing you guys some extra stuff. Unreason. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't that nice? I'm glad you. I'm glad you saw that. It's very important. Actually, I do. I do know some Easter eggs. So if I come across them, I'll show you. Or maybe I should let you guys find that out yourself. Buy the game. You seriously buy this game? It's like one of my favorite games ever. It's definitely on my top ten list. I think. I haven't actually if the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid space? unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Okay. Noted. We. All right. Wow. And I think this is the first test that isn't really, you know, something old from the previous game. So here we go. Let's do this. Assuming you gotta press this button first. But, right. Okay. And then it gets over here. Put it on the button. And then these magical stairs appear. That's a new addition. Alright. Now I believe I put that there. Cube goes down. Goes out there. But, I gotta lift this thing up. Go. Go, go, go. Oh crap. Yeah, I did it. See? See, I can solve puzzles. Yeah, except for the Rubik's Cube. Never figured that out. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Oh, that's good to know, I guess. <sighs> Seriously, I mean... I don't know, that's something they could have worked on. The loading screens are kind of frequent, like I said. Whatever. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, <laughs> God help you. Oh, okay. That would suck. Alright. Gotta get up here. Oh, and this is the part where we go flying through space. Like a majestic eagle. Uh, right. I think this will do something. Right, yes. Put the cube down there. Okay. No, don't you dare. Okay. And then the button is not down there because that would be stupid. Button's over there, of course. What were you thinking? Oh, come on! <laughs> I, God, I'm terrible at this, aren't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That there. And go through. Yes! If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome! And remember, oh. testing is the future. See? And the future starts with you. Yeah, no loading screen that time. All right. Oh, I got a bit of lag there. Okay, now, button is right there. That's the first step to success. Locate the button. I don't know why I did that. Whatever. We. Oh, come on! 
Why am I sucking so much today? I don't know. I don't usually suck this much. I'm pretty good at portal. I think. I hope. Let's go. It's because I'm recording. As soon as I hit that record button, I suck at everything. Okay, wait, what am I doing here? I gotta go there. And so I'll use that, I think. Or, yeah. Right? Right? We Yes! Go through here? What? Okay, that's a bit odd. Okay! And, great. Now I gotta do all that all over again. Go through here and whoosh! Oh, wait, seriously? Seriously? It's your fault. You, yeah, watching this, it's your fault. Good work getting you this made far, me mess up. starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe what? and send back someone better qualified for testing. What's wrong with being old, huh? Think, think old people can't play Portal 2? That's racist. Ageist. Okay. Anyway, I think this is probably one of the best puzzle games ever made. Actually, to no, ensure that sufficient that. power remains for it core is. testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. Shut up. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Yeah. No, it's definitely yeah, I think it's the best puzzle game ever made. Because I mean you've got all this. I mean, you have this story to motivate you to go to the next one, and each hey, puzzle is like hey, perfectly hey, made. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage <laughs> are the real heroes in the end, aren't uh, they, at the end of the day? That's the last of line. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, Wheatley. Right. What was I saying? God. Okay. Okay, listen, let yeah. me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. Come on. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options right. here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's Ooh. high. It's, oh, come it's on. too high. It's I forgot really about bad. that. All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Yeah, catch, what? Me, oh. catch me, catch me, catch me, catch uh, me! Wait, what? Ow. I caught him, I thought. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. All right. Um. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. What? Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Uh, okay. Ha! All right, you can ha! Back. I saw him. Bam. I Secret saw him do it. Open. Yes. While your back was turned. See, and I did it. I am the best at this game ever. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever well, we want. Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on. Let me just get my bearings. Um. Just follow the rail, actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Hello. Oh no. Yes. Nope. Hello. No rail stopping. Don't make oh, eye contact, like, whatever you do. No, eye thanks. contact. Very good. Appreciate Aha. it. Keep moving, keep moving. Haha. Ah, uh, you're blocking my view. Stupid weepy. You're different. Are you different? Good for you. We're all special, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe I should cut the. Maybe I should cut all the loading times out. Nah, I'll do that. It'll make it more torturous for you to watch. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you wanna just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever, that's an option. Mm -hmm. Option A, sit All here, right. do nothing. Right, option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Yeah. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Right now. Okay. Seriously, if um. In case you thought to yourself, you to I've missed the window of time to voice my reservations. It's still open. Right. Anyway, you still, you you guys still have uh, time to buy this yourself. So do that, cause uh, there's gonna be spoilers soon. This is the beginning of the game. 
But very soon the story is going to start unfolding. So seriously, this is one of the best gaming experiences ever. All right, all right, that's that's over with. Um, prepare to be okay, spoiled. I'm going to leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't well, want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's <gasps> off. All fine. All Thank go. goodness. I was worried Glados was going to like kill us here. Um, there she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Yeah. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? <gasps> You're not going to believe this. A human. What? I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. <gasps> Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him hey, since. Hey, no one's seen her since. There's a long chunk of time Come where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. All right, thank Don't you for that exposition there. That was very helpful for those who haven't played the game. You guys should get Portal 1 too. That was good. <laughs> All right, I like the okay, music in this too. Stairs. I like the music in this game too. I actually, I think I used this uh, specific track for one of the Mine Cows episodes. Um, yeah, Jump. but it does get a bit actually, repetitive. It, I, I, a, I download the soundtrack. Right. Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your oh. arms, though, so you're gonna have to rely on the old human strength yeah. to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces on your spine either, so so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could that could split like a About melon my teeth. from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. I Can I a quick question? <laughs> Have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so a uh, bit, of, bit of grit. I kind of just want to stay here to plastic listen to grip. him. I, I think right, it's... Oh. Jump! What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh God. Oh, I just thought about the worst thing that could happen there. Oh, I just thought of something even worse. Better plan. A new plan. No imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever. Okay, just just jump. Just jump into the into the abyss and, and see what happens. I'm sorry if you guys aren't liking oh, this. Oh, it's still but... there. It's still in my head. I'm sorry if you guys don't want to hear these, but I don't know. I can't help myself. Ah! Ah! Oh, still yeah. Held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Mm -hmm. Oh, spooky. You know what? This is a good place to stop. So thank you all very much for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this episode, then uh, feel free to give it a like. And um, if you enjoy Mine Cows, why don't you subscribe or something? You know, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And um, I will hopefully try and continue this series and finish the entire game before the summer ends. So, once again, thanks for watching for a third time. And until next time, stay tuned.